one day, like, I just felt like my heart hurt and I got tingling all the way down my arm. And I, I, I couldn't really see what, exactly what it was, like feel exactly what it was, so I got up and I felt like I needed to get some circulation. I started pumping my hand, doing stuff like that. So the one night, I was at my aunt's house, I was laying down on the floor, couldn't get comfortable on the bed because my back was hurting. Um, I couldn't get in the right position. I ended up uh, going to the floor. My mother came down to look at me to see how I was feeling. And she, she realized that I was just sick and uh, like I was pale to the face. So she rushed me to the hospital right away. I was making it to the first hospital. I walked in there, waited a couple hours in the ER before I got admitted. And uh, it turns out I crashed, out I crashed that night. They finally rushed me down to the ICU to find out exactly what was wrong with me, and they didn't even know exactly what was wrong. So they tra uh, transferred me over to Beth Israel Hospital, and I was hooked up to about 12 bags uh, of, of fluid into my body at one time. I had several lines going into me, and I was in critical, critical care. Uh, my life growing up was full of sports. I can't sit still. Everybody knows that. I have to be moving at all times. I played uh, high school football. I was a guard in high school. And just the life of a guard is, uh, is just protecting the people around you, just like I like to look at the, my life as protecting the people around me. I always looked out for my little brother um, as I was growing up. I kind of uh, maybe I overstepped my bounds a little bit at times, taking on more of a parental role, but um, there was no one more important to me. Ever since I saw Robert was critically ill, uh, when I flew home, I stayed with him for the first, I want to say, 24 days that he was in the hospital. As the days progressed, uh, like I just hit a plateau, and I stayed there, and I just hit a big drop. You know, his color was pale, he was swollen because of all these bags of fluid that were going into his body, but his kidneys weren't functioning. And I, I was afraid that my brother was going to die. They uh, had to rush me down to go get a uh, heart surgery, which they had to put an LVAD in, and to allow my body to produce the blood through the heart so I could eventually recover, and ho hopefully recover, I should say. Um, through the surgery, that I actually happened to uh, have cardiac arrest in the surgery, and I was I needed to be I brought got brought back to life twice uh, through the surgery. Everything was coming to a head uh, to the point where they determined that he wasn't going to survive with the heart that he had. Right now, uh, we're currently waiting uh, for a heart. Uh, because Robert's due for his transplant. My mother has been here through the entire experience, all 40 days, the first, uh, the first battle, and uh, 20 more days after this battle. Some things in life are worth waiting for. Right now, Robert is my priority. He always has been. And once he's healthy, then we're going to take on the world together because there is life after LVADs, there is life after transplants. <laughs>